Returning home from his quest in Troy has never been easy for Odysseus. And to show how strong and stable Odysseus is in the face of great challenges, let us go over each of his adventures. Let us begin in his journey in Troy when the Greeks destroyed the city. This made the gods, including Athena, angry at all Greeks that she included Odysseus in her displeasure. The strong winds, Athena's punishment through Poseidon, drove Odysseus and his men in the land of Sicanus. His men took more than essentials and did horrible things to the island. The Sicanus gathered to attack them and Odysseus lost 72 men. Left at the Sicanus and ended up on the island of the Lurus Eaters. The inhabitants welcomed them with Lurus plants that would lose their memory. They ate it except Odysseus. Odysseus barely gets his men and tie them up to the ship till they gain their memory. Their next adventure is the island of the Cyclopes. Polyphemus, one of them, and was the son of Poseidon, traps to them after invading his cave. However, Odysseus managed to trick him and gets out of the cave. After leaving the island of the Cyclopes, Odysseus and his men arrived in the island of the Aeolus, the wind god. Aeolus gave him a bag of winds which was not to be opened till they reached Ithaca. Odysseus' crew were intrigued and opened it, making the journey back home even longer and difficult. After the windstorm was over, Odysseus' ships landed until Epilus, the land of Lestragonian. So this horrible fox destroyed all Odysseus' ships except one he himself was in. Odysseus and the rest rowed away from Telepilos as fast as possible. They sailed to Aiaia inhabited by the witch Circe. Odysseus' men went to her house and turned them into swine. Odysseus came to rescue his men and save himself from Circe through Hermes' advice. He managed to save his men. Before departing the island, Odysseus learned about their next adventures through Circe. Odysseus and his men head for the underworld. They looked for Tiresias and find him there. He told them how to get home. He then heads off to continue his journey. They came to the island of Sirens. Sirens are beings that use their song to entice men towards them. The solution is to put beeswax in their ears to prevent them from hearing the song. He also had to be tied to the ship's mast and his men couldn't untie him until they were beyond the island and they succeeded. Odysseus and his men passed through the Scylla and the Charybdis. Odysseus, with Athena's help, succeeded in passing it. The country of Helios, the sun god, was the next step on their voyage. Tiresias warned Odysseus to avoid his men from harming the cattle. They agreed to consume just the meal Circe has provided. However, they were tempted to sacrifice the cattle to the gods that made Helios very mad. They set up on their next journey, but they got caught in a storm. All of the men die except Odysseus. Odysseus ends up in the goddess Calypso. Athena asks Zeus to free Odysseus. Zeus says Hermes to go to Calypso and tells her that she must allow him to leave and return home to Ithaca. She tells Odysseus that he can go and he then sets sail for Ithaca. Odysseus landed in the land of Phaeacians after Poseidon interrupted his way to Ithaca. Princess Nausicaa found Odysseus and brings him to her father Alcinos, who eventually helped him to go home after hearing his story of wanderings. Odysseus had finally returned home. He learned the situation of his wife and son, as well as the suitors who were attempting to marry her wife. Odysseus kills all the suitors while disguised as a beggar. Odysseus' return to Ithaca was a difficult journey, but the Odyssey closes with him blissfully back in his country with his lovely wife and family.